What's going on guys? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was that Kevin Captures? Yeah, I don't know where I've been, but hopefully more content is on the way. But nonetheless, today we are unboxing the DJI OM4. This came out August 26, so about five days ago, and I was able to get my hands on one. This is a smartphone stabilizer. I've uh, been wanting one for a while. was about to go pick up the three, and I realized they just released this one. So for like $20 more, might as well get the new one. So here it is, DJI OM4. So in the box, you have the actual device, the magnetic phone clamp, storage pouch, a power cable, the tripod, magnetic ring holder, wrist strap, and the manuals. Of course, smartphone not included. So there's a couple pictures. Uh, it has the active tracking, it's foldable, uh, has the gesture controls, and a story mode. And then the logo. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. All right, so we got the plastic taken off. So we'll open this up. Got a little picture there. And here we're greeted with some paperwork. So I'll take that out. And there it is. The DJI OM4. Now here is the actual stabilizer or gimbal, whatever you want to call it. We have the phone mount. And then we have the tripod. And then we also have the cable for charging. So there's the charger, USB-C, nice. The tripod, very nice, there's that. And then this is the phone mount, it's magnetic. So it'll magnetize to the actual gimbal itself. And then you could put this one on your phone if you wanted to always leave it on your phone. Uh, you can do that as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the paperwork real quick. So here, if you wanted to put the um, magnet on your phone, this little um, guide to help you line it up in the middle. And there's the ring. So this must be... So this is the riser pad for smaller phones. But this is the magnet. So you could um, put that on your phone. It's like a pop socket almost, I guess, or like a phone ring. Um, maybe you could put it in the middle of your phone and then you could just use that without using this, I believe. Uh, also inside the box, inside the box, we just got some paperwork. Um, quick start guide, it's pretty thick, uh, it has, how to set it up and what everything does. We probably won't ever use that, but it looks like it's got it in different languages as well. So put that to the side. And this side we have uh, we have the wrist strap and we have a little pouch that says Osmo. So that's pretty cool. And then in here. And here is just uh, some cleaning wipes. So here is the gimbal itself or the stabilizer. And then the foam mount magnetizes just like that. It's a pretty strong magnet. So that's a good thing. All right, so before we get into um, showing you some video, um, right here is the power button, the M. Um, and then you have the joystick. Uh, it allows you to move up and down to control the tilt axes. And then you have the shutter button up here. Um, you can press once to take a photo or press and hold to do burst shooting. On the side, you have the zoom slider. So you can zoom in and out. Um, and then you have the trigger on the back, which puts you in a, a lock mode. Or you can release it out of lock mode. Uh, that allows you to recenter the gimbal and also uh, start or stop the active tracking. So we'll, um, also on the bottom you have the uh, screw hole for the tripod mount. Right here you have the USB for charging. 
and that's pretty much it uh, it's pretty basic it feels good in the hand has a nice grip on it um, so let's go ahead and charge it up and then we will uh, see how it looks